Steph Curry's going to come back into focus now. Steph Curry now and his the legacy and all that. And we've discussed Steph Curry in this podcast quite a few times about where he stands in, among the great point guards, among the great players, and all that. And I got to be honest with you, I, I had to do some think about this. because and, and this really hurts me a little bit. Now, I don't say hurts me, but this really impacts me personally. You know, because I'm, I'm the biggest Magic Johnson. First off, I'm, Magic Johnson is my all-time favorite athlete in the history of sports, period, end of discussion. Let's start there. But I've come to terms now with something here. And it's something that, that may happen, but this has to happen too. I think Steph Curry has a real chance to become the greatest point guard ever. Now, not saying it's going to happen, but again, we've had discussions about where he ranks around the all-time greats in the points. We all have him in the top three. I think most people have him in the top three still. You know, I, 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 for years, I battled to him and Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas, put the number two spot. I, I, I've, in recent years, put Curry in that spot, number two, because number one, he has more rings. Number two, he's the more impactful player. So at some point, you have to show respect for there. And this is coming from someone who, Isaiah Thomas, myself, is one of my three favorite players of all time. You know, the other one being Charles Barkley. Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley, Isaiah Thomas, in that order. But I don't think it's inconceivable to think that Steph Curry could be the greatest point guard of all time. At all. Seriously. The thing to me that sep- that hurts Steph Curry right now, he's had a lot of playoff blunders, number one for starters, you know, especially in the game seven against the Cavs 2016. But also, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't have any, any, any finals MVPs at all. For, you know, he's won three titles. First title, Andre Godal won the MVP. The next two won by, won by Kevin Durant. So this is where we're at now with Steph Curry. If he wins the title this year, Okay, along with Finals MVP, this is what happens to Steph Curry in, his, in the legacy here, in my opinion. Okay, he starts inching closer to Magic Johnson one, among in terms of the greatest point guard of all time. Okay, let's get let's just start there. Number two, he officially puts distance to himself and Kevin Durant, because there's a lot of talk, you know, especially the last couple of years when Durant went to, went to Golden State, won two, two rings, and we can agree that Kevin Durant's probably the better, still, better, still the better player. Okay, I mean, skill skill wise, but Kevin Durant last couple of years, not getting done. Brooklyn injuries, you name it. Steph Curry continues to thrive. Okay, and I think you 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 see Steph Curry put distance into Kevin, you know, from Kevin Durant with a final another Finals win because now now it's now that's an, another ring without Durant. That's four rings, two without Durant. The the first one and then the, now this last one. If he also wins Finals MVP, finally, I truly believe. Steph Curry knocks on the door of a top 10 discussion. Top, I'm, not, I'm not talking about top 10 all time, okay? You know, the, 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 top 10, the, the, the top 10 you talk about when you talk about Jordan and Bird and Magic and Kobe and Duncan and Russell and Wilt. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, Shaq, you know, uh, you know, you, you do, you do, LeBron, of course. You know, you know what I mean. I think Steph Curry knocks on the door of the top 10 discussion. I'm not saying that he will be officially top 10, but I think... The conversation starts to open up because Steph Curry will have many things, you know, for starters. Number one, you have the legacy, you have the longevity now. I think this is now what year fourteen in the league now. Okay, year three, year fourteen in the league, he's still playing peak basketball. You you can easily see Steph Curry playing all the seven years, honestly. Okay, as long as he's healthy. Okay, he's changed the game of basketball. On top of that, let's let's, let's, let's keep, keep it real about that one. Okay, he's changed the game of basketball. Um, longevity. Changing basketball rings, four rings, okay, and then winning one, winning another ring without the best player he's played with in Kevin Durant. So, so his the legacy factor becomes much more open now. Steph Curry, I'm, I'm comfortable saying that he'll be knocking door up top ten. I don't think it, I don't think he'll get top ten at that point, but I think you open, you have the conversation, and I think also. He probably he probably needed a fifth ring probably to really seriously open the discussion to where he does crack the top ten. Well, to actually, no, the fifth ring will actually put him in the top ten with another final MVP 